From my experience, mm. at Amimi, however I present myself outside, from uh, whatever people see in the organization, what one I'm going to say, Yeah, it's different. Wait a minute. It's different, <laughs> by the way. Mm-hmm. And, like, for example, me every morning when I go to work, I make sure I make an annual angle, well kept. Mm-hmm. But when you find me here at home, Rather, I'm just within the area or just going out mm-hmm. for a drink or two. Station and kitchen. Channel. It will just be anything. like just shag. So someone who has always seen me with well kept hair will be like, "Ay, ukijana kwenye me ingia munge kete na nini nini like kunana." So it it will be hard for them to like reconcile <laughs> to, the two. Reconcile, but yeah. I'm still the same person. Just that mm-hmm. in a different setting, this yeah, is how I, I am. Nandio mana una patanga wasewengi wana kwanga wame blog wasewa job. <laughs> Facebook, social media, ume umwa block kwa WhatsApp. Ndio ukienda kusereleka huko like eh hey, umejiachilia na ma drinks umechafua meza hapa utaki like wasi wa nini waone. I think I was asking you the same thing. Is it post that some people are putting online? Do you think wamekea colleagues waone ati? By the way, I know cuz someone is is is, is ana post kitu hapo unashindwa. Ai This guy is a colleague. Na boss boss wetu bado wanaona his status by the way, his status z. What is up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's our spot. Yes, yeah, it's our, our YouTube our, channel. Our, our, our keyword is our <laughs> keyword our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some background to that, but karibuni sana. Uh thank you for joining us again to this auspicious, let me call it auspicious. Yes, I was dropping up another <laughs> agenda. <laughs> Yeah so uh if you're new here consider subscribing consider going through our our content so far again we are working on building a, an enormous library yeah. uh, around very interesting conversations so just hang with us stick with us and see what we have in store yeah bona og what it do what it does eh have you been we got to saw uh-huh you know it's been a nice week mm-hmm. yeah as usual we'll got to look forward to as getting back to the spot mm-hmm. and just having this you know engaging conversations come mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, to yeah i've also been good mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. pushing forward pushing on mm-hmm. keeping up mm-hmm. yeah all that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. pushing on pushing forward <laughs> I haven't uh, gotten much from it, but anyway, it's okay. It's all good. No, Nile. <laughs> you know, guys, <laughs> guys, guys, don't get deep into like yeah, such answers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, yeah, una maintain yeah, yeah, yeah. kwa sababu. Hata uki uki ukishuka chini kidogo your conscious una una yeah. really juu ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been good for me as well. Okay. I've, I was also waiting for an opportunity again to just have this interaction. Yeah. So that at least we have something to to share. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah, that's been it that's, from from my end. That, that's nice. So before you actually introduce today's topic, mm-hmm. I I have a question for you. I would uh, I hope it's not <laughs> something that will throw me off. <laughs> Chanza <laughs> no, is <laughs> 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 Yeah. Like if you can't quite exam what's the square root of i Plus inverse I g- <laughs> <laughs> so alpha uh-huh. anyway, it's a simple question Ask and i'm sure you actually know the answer uh-huh. let's see how i'll handle it tell me so what do they call pastors in german pastors in german yeah pastors in german yeah. i don't know ah <sighs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm We actually wanted to um do a bit of introduction have some interesting conversations around personal branding. Yeah. And uh not just personal branding, personal branding within the workspace. Yeah. Cuz um a lot of content is out there about uh, personal branding and all that, yeah. uh, but I feel we could more or less talk about something uh some some areas that okay. uh from the perspective of probably someone who's been in a workplace, right? Okay. Um so yeah guys that's the topic for the day uh personal branding in the work workspace right yeah. in the workplace sorry yeah, yeah. i'm sure you've also seen the 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 tagline as you're yeah. going through the video yeah. but uh tell me what do you 
think about personal what a, let me let me start there what do you think about personal branding <laughs> so for me mm-hmm. i think personal branding is uh, how you or the the, the 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 how people perceive you um so who you are what you are what you stand for um yeah exactly how people perceive you and in this case as we're talking about the workplace is mm-hmm. how people perceive you at work um mm-hmm. so from your looks from your behavior um how you talk how you carry yourself um how you carry out your tasks yeah um such things i think there's a very interesting quote um by jeff bezos uh, he L- says L- he L- says L- by L- way uh-huh. uh, your brand mm-hmm. is a uh, what people say about you when you're not in the room so basically what they're describing about you when you're not here so for example if you're not here we'll say um eh hey, pedo mse anakwanga umuli anakwanga mshap you know the guy is usually very smart um you know he's uh, intelligent you know he mm-hmm. keeps time uh you know he he he's very efficient at work and things like that so i think personal branding is now because people mostly are used to the branding when when you say branding they are, they are, what what comes to mind is mm-hmm. branding in terms of a company an, an organization, an organization yes. or an event or oh, something yes. of that sort yeah uh, um, or those agencies yes yes, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. um can you know nike whatever adidas but mm-hmm. in this case we're talking about you your own personal brand mm-hmm. you who you are because right now when i actually when i said nike Mm-hmm. this obviously something that Take comes to mind yeah? if i say apple mm-hmm. there's something that comes Very to mind mm-hmm. so, no. so when people <coughs> say mumuli what comes to mind exactly what you've mentioned <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> yeah but mm-hmm. i agree with you mm-hmm. um uh, my understanding of personal branding mm-hmm. is in line with what you've mentioned that it is uh, whether it intentional or unintentional yeah. it is what uh it is what you will reflect yeah. while you're operating within an organization reflect yeah. as far as operations yeah. how you present yourself just everything you've mentioned yeah. as in what people will see about you yeah. as you yeah. in the workplace or yeah. in in your space in, yeah. within the organization yeah. and um i think it's important uh, i think it's important Very. so uh one of the questions first of all i've mentioned whether it's intentional or, or uh, intentional or unintentional yeah. because um i feel like um for some of us actually mostly guys who are just getting into the workplace yeah uh it it is usually it usually starts off as very unintentional mm. that unaingia tu nikaa vile umeingiza kichwa kwa maji you have no plan you have zero then with the time in a, now you start to realize by the way, these are the things that happen and now i need to carry myself in yeah. a certain way right yeah. i don't know if that's the experience you've had as well yeah that's that's uh, the experience cuz like you said even me the first time that i got a job um when you if if back then you'd ask me about personal branding mm-hmm. probably that is not even something that was in my mind mm-hmm. all i thought about was just going to work doing my work you know i'm um, getting my paycheck at the end of the month and then you know going home but mm-hmm. now as you as you um let's say as you get older mm-hmm. rather as you work for more years mm-hmm. you start to understand there's this thing that is called a brand and and that believe it or not is very important when it comes to um your elevation or your progress in the in the corporate ladder uh, when it comes to corporate corporate nini so um if if you do not pay attention to your personal brand and you're not intentional about you know just nurturing your brand and mm-hmm. and maintaining nurturing. it uh-huh. yeah nurturing uh-huh. it yeah and just you know maintaining that positive brand um of yourself then there may be opportunities that will come by at work you know um zitakupita tu hivyo because um of your brand you may be very good at what you do you may be a very good employee you meet timelines deadlines you know um you hit sales targets and what not but mm-hmm. branding is 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 more than just that it's it's what people see and i would call it some of some of them are intangible because excuse me <laughs> because even 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 in in in, in promotions mm-hmm. um people tunaweza kwa sisi wote tuko the same like we both we both good at what we do mm-hmm. um, our work but the separator will be you know what kind of brand are you representing I mean, um, yeah so if 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 for example i am you know a better communicator than you 
um, I am more engaged in in company activities. Mm-hmm. Um, then I might, you know, have, those things might might give me an added advantage when it comes to just people deciding whether or not I'm the one to get the promotion or not. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah among yeah. among other factors, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I all that all that you've mentioned rings true uh to me uh i think um how if now we are advancing the conversation mm-hmm. uh you mentioned something uh, uh something that was uh, very interesting uh you've said that um as you're looking at climbing up the corporate ladder mm-hmm. you have to be very intentional mm-hmm. about your really? your your brand yeah. now as Gidinji, how you present yourself yeah. and all that yeah. um now if i may ask now in your context mm-hmm. um uh you mentioned that as you started you weren't very focused am are you focused as in you were very focused i wasn't to be honest i wasn't and would I, uh sorry uh-huh. would you say you lost a couple of opportunities just because you weren't focused yes i i would say that mm-hmm. um because at that time um especially with the knowledge that i have right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. as regards to personal branding then um i i think some of the things that i would have done differently Mm-hmm. back then as i was starting out um he, you know um some of them let me just say it's for mm-hmm. example just making sure that i am not sijaka the same the same place like yes i've gotten the job but i don't mm-hmm. need to be comfortable i need to make sure that i upgrade my skill set um so um if if it's taking some short courses here and there mm-hmm. that are you know aligned to what i am currently doing mm-hmm. with my work which will in effect make 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 me more efficient in delivering on on my on my responsibility mm-hmm. or, or my my KPIs so uh, yes mm-hmm. so at that time i would have been very intentional from the word go mm-hmm. in gaining some of this uh, knowledge yeah, acquiring some of these skills mm-hmm. and i'm sure with that because mostly people just you know wanna stick the same same place so it's it's maybe um a task that will force you for example if you know um how kopoa when it comes to using powerpoint so mm-hmm. but when it there comes a time that you need to you do a presentation yeah you are required to do a presentation mm-hmm. then that is the time that you now uh, yes. do all the research put in all the effort, put, yeah. all, put in all the work as yeah. far as now yeah. knowledge on on powerpoint is yeah. concerned okay yeah uh-huh. so but you see even at that time for example if you um you you were not intentional i was intentional and then powerpoint you know i got the skill mm-hmm. i've been advancing it pole pole so by the time that we are that opportunity yeah, that opportunity presents, itself, presents itself, 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 itself then i i just flow with it and you know i excel mm-hmm. um so some of the things are also just communication um but luckily for me mm-hmm. from 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 a very but but not from a very hey, young man, age not, not from a very young uh-huh. age but from kitambo kidogo mm-hmm. i've been good when it comes to communicating and just expressing myself in front of people mm-hmm. I, i i never shy away from talking in front of a crowd mm-hmm. so um i would really have worked mm-hmm. on my communication mm-hmm. skills back then mm-hmm. um and make sure that you know um the way i'm communicating not just to my colleagues to my bosses um to customers suppliers um all these people Um mm-hmm. I, I would have really really been intentional in making sure that it is per certain level. Mm-hmm. Um not just verbal mm-hmm. but also written. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah just making sure that because you know I also just to touch on communication kidogo one thing that I realized that mm-hmm. you may be you know you may be very good at what you do. Mm-hmm. For example let's say you are a sales person. Mm-hmm. Um okay but sales person obviously they expected to be really good at communicating but let's say you are a sales person am i you're a leader and then you have this great vision in your mind it's really awesome mm-hmm. um you have this great plan but if you're not able like to communicate it well to your team mm-hmm. so that they can understand what this vision is and buy into that vision of you mm-hmm. then it might, might be a bit difficult for for them to join in to join in yeah very true yes. just because kuna there's that you know there's that gap gap yeah. in communication mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. same with even sales people mm-hmm. you might you know be very good when it comes to you, you might even have a very good product but if someone does not communicate it well to to people to people in as a lala kwa stores just yeah. so because, so yeah. yeah communication how you present yourself um I think back then they'll go to Navatu casually casually um but I also anyway I don't have an issue with that but like depending on the kind of job that you're doing mm-hmm. uh, back then I would have been also more intentional in 
the way you also present, present yourself as in physically physically as in, uh-huh. um, vile unaka, the grooming and all that yes right? the grooming and all that uh-huh. um so yeah uh, i think those are some of the things that personally in my you know career journey i uh-huh. have experienced and looking back i wish um i i knew better but uh-huh. it's never too late you know right now i i have that knowledge mm-hmm. I, i keep seeking more knowledge and trying to just better my personal brand as i go uh-huh. i'd like to hear yours as well as uh, Okay. Um na jo me chomp chomp vitu mob because from you I have gotten that um now if you're talking about uh personal personal branding mm. that uh skill set adva- advancement is something you need to look out yes. communication and yeah. uh and uh, the third one was presentation yeah. presentation physical whatever grooming and yeah, all that yeah. uh for me added to that because I uh, I think we have a lot of similarities um mm. as far as joining in the workplace is concerned because yeah. that appear uh peer mimi like once i got recruited yeah. the first organization yeah. it was more or less looking out uh, yeah. and seeing whatever people are doing and just copy pasting yeah. so nilikuwa yeah. najing najing nikiona ni hivyo anafanya that's what i'll do yeah. so uh i believe even in my scenarios mm-hmm. there are a lot of opportunities that i lost mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. um uh, I hadn't taken that time to just say that hey as Haron uh, uh in this space within this organization mm-hmm. um uh, this are the things that I need to be very intentional about mm-hmm. because um uh, with that as you've mentioned whenever an opportunity presents itself mm-hmm. it is clear for here whoever needs to make that decision that mm-hmm. ah apa yeah. I know Haron is the best man for that job because yeah. he has consistently yeah. um, he has been able to deliver on mm-hmm. all that yeah. so added to your list I think um the other disadvantage mm-hmm. okay not not a disadvantage, advantage but mm-hmm. something i also was wasn't very intentional about mm-hmm. is uh, you see in uh, when you're in uh, the 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 workplace mm-hmm. there's also some level of intelligence you need to have intelligence in the sense you need to listen to that environment mm-hmm. to also know how mm-hmm. you will maneuver yourself because if we're thinking about it when you're in a workplace mm-hmm. all you're thinking about is the corporate ladder yeah. because it's about that paycheck is about how you can make it higher it's yeah. about how you can deliver more for the yeah. organization and all that yeah. so for me um i was not intentional about listening to that environment mm-hmm. so by the time i was uh picking up that hey this is a skill i need okay mm-hmm. I think it adds to the to the uh to the skill set bit but I also feel it's a bit of some intelligence you need to have. Mm-hmm. But if I had been very intentional about it from the word go, mm-hmm. oh, will you be talking to to someone else hey, right now? Hey, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, um, yeah, I'm I'm just like yeah. thank God you you did not have that intelligence <laughs> no, but I found <laughs> No, actually um I wouldn't say that necessarily yeah. because again uh, easy discussions um even if I wouldn't have had them here mm-hmm. I I am sure I would have had them somewhere else because mm-hmm. I know at even for you if you ha- didn't have those conversations here mm-hmm. you'd probably be having them somewhere else hata kama ni kwa kaloko hata kama ni kwa podcast na jambo mwingine that's what I tend to yeah, believe yeah, yeah. but uh yes number one for me um that is something I believe mm-hmm. is not mentioned anywhere mm-hmm. but you need to have that uh that ka intellect kidogo okay. and uh let me also try to think of something else that um at the moment added to your list i think that's the that's it's actually a, i would go to say that it's slightly more important than than at other is zingine yeah. because yeah. um what i have seen as far as now the organizational context is concerned mm-hmm. is uh, we are we are human beings yeah. let's agree yeah. but now this is from my experience yeah. i'm sure guys can now also share from from mm-hmm. your end mm-hmm. how it has been for for you yeah. but what i have experienced so far is um how you will interact with the people around you will determine the directions that either you will go or you will be taken mm. and you know within the organization unajipata umepeleka mahali ama unajipata umejipeleka mahali mm-hmm. so as someone who's just fresh in fresh in it's uh not it's not a very high chance that utajipeleka utajipata unapelekwa mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so ukiwa na ako ka intelligent mm-hmm. utajipata unapelekwa so often that now when you have the intellect to peleka yourself now this is just uh, in the example tunapeana 
as in you have gotten really far and i think for me that's the additional bit that mm. i would i would add to to that list um, i was trying to think even as you're saying that this mm-hmm. uh, the thing i think i came across this term quiet leader that there's no such thing as a quiet leader especially when it comes to personal branding in the sense that mm-hmm. you may be and i'm sure you've seen those people at work mm-hmm. someone who's very good at what they do really really good um but accomplishments are nothing if people don't know about them especially at the workplace because mm-hmm. like if you are the best of the best of the best but people do not know about you the, it won't make it, sense it will, so you especially need... i i like that you've mentioned especially in the workplace yes that if people you can be that quiet hero when yes. you're now let me give you a context the id when you're doing everything huku nyuma as in the whole organization is running on your back yes. eh? that at ukienda kasik one day hiyo watu wanaanza kuulizana ah yeah why isn't this working why isn't this right yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay uh-huh. but, but if people do not know about that that you are the engine behind all these operations that are you know all this success all this efficiency then it doesn't make sense so mm. it it is up to you by the as you're building uh, or rather as you're working on your personal brand mm-hmm. to make sure that people know people they know that hey by the this this is me someone might take it like negatively oh you're blowing your own you know trumpet but no you're like this is something you've done it's not one of those cases where mm-hmm. you're taking credit for something that you've not done mm-hmm. no this is work that you've done mm-hmm. and you the credit the credit is is deserved to you mm-hmm. so that way people notice you and even if something comes up people know ah yeah by the way because you know mostly those people that are very good at what they do but they're very quiet mm-hmm. and no one knows about them then and and when 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 opportunities come up mm-hmm. no one will remember them because mm-hmm. mostly the perception is usually that my work will speak for itself y- you need to also speak for your work <laughs> yes do the work be good at it be but really also it. Uh-huh. just make sure that people know that you're there that you exist mm-hmm. um if okay if you even like look at an example yeah uh, uh, branding yeah you know like apple and whatever and nike like yes like for example you, you may know it's something good it's a nice product you know but they still come to you and tell you by the way we're in your face we are, just do yes it. we will do advertise mm-hmm. like i was giving you the example of coca-cola or guinness mm-hmm. or safaricom mm-hmm. those guys mm-hmm. no one we all know those brands mm-hmm. but at just turn on the tv right now go to youtube go social media you will not miss an ad by this guy no, yes <laughs> <laughs> they are ever in your face mm-hmm. so just make sure people know about you people mm-hmm. because already you have that backing of the quality the quality that you have the quality of work that you bring to the table is top notch now it's for you to make sure that Uh, you have made it known that yes. uh, it is you who's handling the top notch more or less signing all your art as you yes exactly but uh, some people might go uh, go a uh, different direction and say that eh hey, ujamaa na kuanga na naelewa hiyo ya akuanga na kifu anajigonga gonga ni kiburi hapana but even if what asema ni kiburi like if they go back and check your work like kazi unafanya like The work is there. It's not mm-hmm. that you're boasting over something that is not there. Mm-hmm. It's it's actually there. Mm-hmm. If they check your performance, your everything, mm-hmm. it all backs you up. Mm-hmm. So just make sure that people because I'm sure by there even you mm-hmm. in the few years that you've worked, you've seen people like that. They're good but they they just don't seem to 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 progress. They seems to be a hurdle that is preventing them to get to the next level in their career but if it were you you'd tell them yes. by the kile inakuangusha ni that hakuna mtu anajua that you the one yes. who did this yes. if they knew uh, ungekuwa kitu kingine most definitely yeah. by now so and, and and that is i think some of the things that we're talking about branding mm-hmm. communication ah, so because okay. you may be you know good at whatever but if you cannot be able to communicate that to mm-hmm. let people know about mm-hmm what it is that you have and you're offering you so yeah it's 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 important for you mm-hmm. to to co- to be able to communicate mm-hmm. um well and effectively so that people know that you exist and you're there mm-hmm. and uh, yeah okay results nazita okay. <laughs> yes they will speak for you but you also need to but there are also some outliers though that there, I'm there sure, are there are I'm sure kuna watu wenye there are okay uh because i have Okay. Uh, not from my own experience mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's not that i'm saying it's a bad thing or anything mm-hmm. but i'm sure there's a world out there where kuna mtu mwenye 
they are doing the work eh? they are doing the work and there's someone who has decided to take the burden of just speaking out their name where it's important why <coughs> why why let someone else have that burden of speaking for you mm-hmm. while you can do it for yourself ah make cause it's at the end of the day it's your own brand mm-hmm. but when I do appear, so you're building you're okay. speaking for your brand uh-huh. so and then people will whenever they think about you they think about oh this person that delivers this person that is a good communicator so i'm thinking what if they 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 know okay sir this guy does his job but we've never even had him speak we don't know if he speaks we, you know he's never anywhere he doesn't come as in you need to be present you need to let people know that you exist mm-hmm. that yes my work is here it speaks for me but i can also speak for myself and my work mm-hmm. yeah Oh, okay. I don't know. That, that's my take. Um, I know Abba, people have Abba. different takes, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Apa to us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with uh, a lot of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I agree with almost everything. Um, uh, the only point I was also just trying to put across was mm. for uh, there are some people who have been fortunate enough to have uh, circles within their organization. Uh, fortunate is the wrong term. Uh, who have been in environments where mm-hmm. you did not need to speak for yourself yeah. someone would be able to speak for you so uh essentially they have thrived yeah. um, uh, um in such environments they have thrived because someone else was taking the burden mm-hmm. of I, I think it makes sense yeah, right makes sense. Ah, okay so so yeah. i think uh now what we can also just try to talk about mm-hmm. is um now in your in your in your setup yeah mm-hmm. um you have of course sisi tumesema sisi watu wa dufompara ro we went mm-hmm. to the workplace tuka tukaingia tu hivyo na tukajifunza ku swim ndani mm-hmm. si ndio um uh, that automatically doesn't auto, uh, not necessarily automatically but uh, in some way means that um the environment helped shape however we have decided to model our our personal branding yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just interested to find out mm. from you. Uh, sorry, na nachukua hai wendefu kufika kwa conversation yet na fa to fikia okay. but I'm very interested to find out from you um how did how has the environment shaped however you are modeling your 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 personal branding? Because as as we've agreed already uh mm. see at ulikuwa na your skill set yeah this is my brand from the word go see mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the environment had to mold it out of you right? Yes, uh, it had to uh-huh. and and I think uh, uh-huh. once you you get into the workplace mm-hmm. then you realize okay um maybe two a few, a few months down the line or rather a few years down the line mm-hmm. you realize maybe there are a few things that you need to to adjust when it uh, comes to exactly to your, uh-huh. to, to your own self mm-hmm. in order to to be able to advance mm-hmm. or rather to uh, to progress in in, yes, in, yes. in terms mm-hmm. of your career exactly yeah. the same so thing. so the the environment already just tells you that because mm-hmm. um I, I i might go back to your example yeah yeah for example where i came from you know mm-hmm. to there's a certain way we were just dressing yeah? mm-hmm. to go to oh that's the previous organization yeah. working with so, okay so but then you come into this other organization mm-hmm. um and then you realize okay there's a there's another form of dressing that that is here so you, oh, you that is appreciated yes, yeah yes. that's probably uh, looked at differently in the yes. other in the other pl- okay so mm-hmm. essentially you have to adjust to that you have to you know shift from what you are used to in order to be able to fit in here oh. it may not be the kind of style or the kind of you know it may not be your preference mm-hmm. but Mm-hmm. You have to adjust to that environment. Yeah. So you are, you're actually saying that you adjusted. You have to for the organization. Because then if you don't uh-huh. as in it's Is this a real example? Sorry, I'm interested to know. Hii ya ulibadilisha mpaka vile unavaa. In your eh? Yeah, of course, cuz mm-hmm. let's say for example where you are, let's say Mulukwatu, even if you are in IT or accounts, mm-hmm. then the place that you're working, guys just used to wear jeans. Oh, it was very um, casual. Very ca- casual, actually casual. Just casual. actually just casual. Uh-huh. So no one cared about mm-hmm. how you dress just mm-hmm. as long as you came in, did uh-huh. your work, mm-hmm. the results were there. But then you come into this other place and then you realize, okay, it's totally different. You have to wear um, you know, suit and tie um from Monday to Friday. So what do you do? You have to like, you know, do a complete makeover of your entire wardrobe within that 
few weeks that you were transitioning to the other uh, mm. new job so yeah it it changes you it may not be that is you know who you am that, that may not be where who you really are uh-huh. but i want a choice cuz if you're in this organization mm. you play as by by the by the by rules mm-hmm. and then your branding it will ultimately di- dictate that you you mm-hmm. wear a suit and tie oh, yeah. um just uh, to be able to progress to in this environment that you're in right now mm-hmm. because i of course uh i would i would manage not na 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 jeans na nini so mm-hmm. i think maybe that is one 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 aspect of it that okay. environment has okay. it it just forces you to to change maybe what you are doing mm-hmm. um, i don't know about you um if there's an instance where mm-hmm. um the environment that you're in has in one way or another influenced your personal brand it it has uh, okay i i could you see in that example of mine for example if i am someone who just you know wears sweatpants and a t-shirt that that is what we used to 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 do the other place or jeans um if i come to this other this other organization where i'm i'm supposed to wear a suit and tie when i go home i'll just go back to my original career you know i'll just go back to my t-shirt and so if you ah, meet me outside there okay. even no, if it's on a okay. weekday and i'm not at work that is how i'll be so, but then when you mm-hmm. find me at work mm-hmm. you know so Different maybe it, may, it might be so, difficult for you to reconcile uh-huh. between the two the two uh, actually, the me at work Uh-huh. and the me at at home so at home now we have two different gatherings. brands yeah. and the brand that is uh in the organizational context yes. that my ukifika home there's a there's like a different, a different kind of uh, brand uh-huh. yeah so and and the 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 environment mm-hmm. dictates that you do that uh-huh. um yeah so okay yeah um uh, for me sure mm-hmm. but um um how i operate is okay i don't know if if it's uh, if it's just me yeah. but i usually tend to listen to the environment mm-hmm. to some extent what one is angalia in kama people pleasing or something of that mm-hmm. sort but i will listen a lot to the environment mm-hmm. fortunately or unfortunately mm-hmm. for most of the organizations i have worked with mm-hmm. uh whatever they they have as far as uh, demands as far as we are talking about um branding is concerned mm-hmm. uh zimekuwa within my 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 comfort zone ah, okay. that uh probably in the previous organization as you mentioned uh the very casual i'm very comfortable in casual attire so um then in this other organization slightly smart casual official i can thrive in smart casual ile yenye siwezani nayo kabisa ni ati uniambia ati 247 suit and tie yenye nimenyonga huko mpaka but by the way i have a story for you guys so this guy so for those who, for those who do not know we used to work in the same company kwisha manano so uh-huh. i was there before he came in Mm-hmm. and then you, you found me there. <laughs> ah yeah yeah. So when you came the first <laughs> the let's wait a minute. No. Oh, so we we in that conversation of you know <laughs> you adapting to the environment and we just fact checking fact checking you. Uh-huh. So when you came in the uh-huh. first few weeks I remember. Uh-huh. Um so this guy used to used to wear a suit kila siku. So then the the the, the workplace that we were we were, we were in um it wasn't necessary for people to, to put on, put on suits. suits every uh-huh. other day uh-huh. um so for you because you are a new employee and you're trying to to please <laughs> you know everyone just trying to look swell and you know and dapper so he used to come with a you know a different jacket for the first i think for the first two weeks every day he had a different suit so it was like eh bebe ujamaa jini wapi amekuja acha tumpatie tu a few weeks zakuzoea hii environment and then hizi suit hata rudisha kwenye anazito so <laughs> baby that was really i i i remember that as you were talking about you know adjusting from one environment i've just remember that about you yes, and it yes. was really funny by the way so hizi suit zilenda hapo baby ah nilirudisha fundi kaambia hizi chukua was two weeks by the way i am very uncomfortable in suits i remember at i faisha we need to talk about the interview experience as because we've talked about interviews before but we need to go in. ah those were the was two weeks because I'm not very comfortable with suits. So <laughs> nilikuwa naangalia you know the perception I had when yeah. I was doing research about that organization yeah. I was like ah this is yeah yeah uh, and then you know yeah, as yeah. in the so yeah yeah you need to show up yeah, yeah, so yeah, mean yeah. you <laughs> <Hey. laughs> 
alafu tena ukiangalia kazi nafanya it it wasn't yeah, it wasn't yeah. Yeah. so yeah very true um and it was very fortunate as i've mentioned that it was very fortunate that mm. Mm, that environment mm. w- was within my comfort zone as far as that i was concerned because mm. i don't know if i would have survived mm. kama mambo ingekuwa suti 24/7 ah, mm. but these these uh, this also okay uh, another one that i remember Mm-hmm. I think okay in, in terms of communication just allow me to go back to that kidogo mm-hmm. okay because also I also remember when you came I when you came mbona unanyanika hizi you are trying to say me story because when you came um so of course you know extensions of office so you're calling okay. usually like sit look at me to hey hello and then mnaanza tu na story eh ile ile invoice Ah, I bet you Jani sort CG support tickets ni wetuma things like that. Yeah, I'm fucking on a you. That's what my you, friend. Why are you? you. <laughs> and I'm sure maybe the guys can confirm this what? story. People who know who know you can confirm this story. So when you came in uh-huh. and someone was calling IT mm-hmm. just to for for support and stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 for those I think the first few you actually took that for some time, few months. You're not like, even uh, no i maintained it throughout. okay by the other one you maintained uh-huh. it so um hello good morning um this is this is amumuli um, amumuli speaking how may i help you but that was really nice as in it was to be honest it was a breath of fresh air people want used to that cuz sina kwambia tuko tumezo ya tu eh eh ni aje hello uh, so and then here you're getting someone who is saying hello good morning how are you Um how may I help you? Umuli speaking. Eh hey, I'm like eh hey, umse kone wa toka kazi customer care ameletwa IT. <laughs> But it was nice by the uh-huh. and that uh-huh. one I think um mm-hmm. you sort of tried to maintain it all along. Tried. Um <laughs> but but it was nice. Uh, very good to yeah. hear. Yeah. Um so um I think now um where as you build up to um how we were defining ourselves our personal brands mm. those are some of the things that more or less i needed to add on mm-hmm. to uh now Harold Mumuli the brand to make myself presentable within the organization mm. so that i can advance not saying that mm. without them i wouldn't have advanced mm. but it most definitely gave me a, an advantage to the next person because now it would be uh if you need this call mumuli yeah. but now that means automatically that calls come as what is it which um i believe also helped to uh, mold me as well as mm. as far as that profession is concerned because yeah. now you're handling different areas yeah. and uh, again put me forward uh, a lot yeah. uh now uh p- part of the query you had was uh how the environment molded me right mm, yeah so yes um essentially that's uh it i think upper peer will circle back to what we were talking about mm. it helped me learn to listen to to uh, not just as in uh, whatever people are saying but uh, the requirements of the organization because there are a lot of kuna kwa gana uto to subtext mm, yeah, that yeah. Uh, if you're not keen Yeah. you will not pay attention yeah. to them yeah. that uh you uh, i i can't call it emotional intelligence mm-hmm. or i can't call it uh intelligence itself mm-hmm. but kuna to subtexts as you're operating within the, that space mm-hmm. that you need to be aware of for you to be able to just uh maneuver yourself maneuver, yeah. upright yeah. 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 so uh for me i had to learn uh a lot about that because uh I am not very good at reading the room let mm. me just be honest naweza kuja hapa niseme kitu and watu wakuza my gosh this guy <laughs> but it's it's out of it's uh, i i think based on my experience um, um yeah okay. to go up so okay. i had to i had to learn a lot about uh, how to present yourself how to put yourself forward yeah. and as you've mentioned these are things that will uh, if Uh, you are to take uh, let's say 10 years to climb that ladder mm. figuratively speaking ago yeah. ka time can endelea kupunguka yeah, as you're yeah, building yeah. all this uh, yeah, all yeah. these things that we've yeah. mentioned and i think um unfortunately people will take them lightly especially especially if you're most of the i think the masses in general mm. cuz i was also keen to see the people who are coming into the organization mm. and how they're operating and it was also clear that uh, by their pr it's just diving head fast yeah. and then carrying yourself as they go out yeah. of um the people who are recruited uh within that same timeline yeah. after me mm. i could see that by way 
kuna vitu tunajifunza pamoja mm. alafu now after you ushajifunza then now you bloom uh, if now yeah. i can i can uh, talk about that um yeah. figuratively yeah. but um what i also wanted to to just get out of you is um okay yes we have spoken about all these things that you need is there anything we can say ama we can tell someone who just wants to be recruited today ama someone who is in that space that you are in right now mm-hmm. yenye tumesema um not you but you had mentioned that if you can't present yourself if you can't figure out your branding mm-hmm. if you can't figure out your presentation within that context mm-hmm. there might be some opportunities that they're losing is there any info that tunaweza ongeza hata kama ni subtext tuseme figure this out and you'll be able to move forward as far as now that growth we are looking at Uh, I know I'm putting you on the spot but umenianika hapa sana but please kwanza leo okay uh huh listen uh-huh. my I've never had an issue with being on the spot mm-hmm. um which which I think is even as a child okay I think Very interesting initially uh, mm-hmm. all through you know my my schooling mm-hmm. I was I was I was quite shy but I think after i got into the workplace with time i just oh it's something that you yeah, build oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, also I, the I, experience i had cuz for me by the guys who know me from primary school uh against people who know me from campus mm-hmm. they have two very different images cuz mm-hmm. in in primary silent kid mwenye alikuwa wasn't paying attention in class wasn't getting anything mm-hmm. alikuwa na enjoy watu then come into campus sasa ndio yo public speaking and all that and all that actually ukiambia watu ati i'm silent in campus i don't get away you don't even know by the at a mimi i have a similar story like mm-hmm. people who knew me way back mm-hmm. they knew that i you know i was i was a bit you know um relaxed quiet you know didn't didn't have much to say mm-hmm. um but then now i'm mm-hmm. sure even some of them are quite surprised that i'm i have a podcast like i even have the courage to to be in front of a camera and, Quisha, and talk no. and uh-huh. even just if i tell people that i am very confident nowadays when it comes to public speaking speaking in front of because you see and i'm sure even you you've seen this um mm-hmm. even even where we used to work mm-hmm. um we would go to for example an event mm-hmm. and then um as a group maybe as a group from that company or uh-huh. now we are told um can someone from you know this department finance or whatever just say something most people will actually just look to me cuz everyone is like know me Apas- this in in territory ya gedenji wacha wacha gedenji ya gedenji the public eh, speaker eh, eh, fanya iki ni kitu yako mm. shine shine you know na cuz most of them tend to shy away from that but for me mm-hmm. um i i enjoy that I, mm-hmm. i i will take it up i'll just go there even if it's something from to i wasn't even prepared and i didn't even know that someone um was going to be needed to speak mm-hmm. i'll just go do my thing and just you know mm-hmm. i enjoy i enjoy that ah, very interesting yeah. okay let me also ask you something else yeah, eh? yeah. Uh, there's a point you had mentioned that um because uh of whatever environment you found yourself to, into mm-hmm. as far as the uh work works workplace is concerned mm-hmm. uh you will need to uh more or less separate yourself uh, uh the orga- there's that organization presentation that you will have a lot of na hiyo ya home right yeah. essentially hapo yeah. we're talking about two different people yeah. mwenye koko ofisi mwenye atafika hapo na suti mwenye kisimama anasema good morning everyone yeah. uh, my name is Kidenji this is what yeah, 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 all that yeah. uh, alafu ikifika mtaa kuna ule jamaa mwa eh twa kazoze ka <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I'm actually umeelewa uh-huh. but I'm um, actually venye mm-hmm. venye venye to meet, maybe for example see you relate now mm-hmm. um wakini pata ko office let's say like we tuna join nayo kwa mta uh-huh. and then ujipata hata maybe you join nafanya kazi wapi and then mm-hmm. one day you just find yourself in an mm-hmm. office mm-hmm. and then you find myself uh, you find yourself where i work mm-hmm. and then i'm there with you like i said i have a chat jokes there is yeah you know majaribu eh in prank kama cuz they can't believe it mm-hmm. as in ule mse wamezoea kwa mta like ako tu chill na my jeans wana relax na eh nyu enda ku kupiga drinks na eh nyu fanya shughuli na eh mm-hmm. um ona shindo ku reconcile that guy na ule mse wanapata kwa ofisi amekaa amenyonga katai like ako serious no na anafanya hizo stuff and then in mm-hmm. the same breath people at work mm-hmm. who have you know have been used to see you like that like serious mm-hmm. probably you don't even joke you just like that the part is complete yes. 
Hey, hey, kosa ni tumie ni tumie hey, ni tumie report sana nataka kuangalia like you don't even smile at those people. Mkipatana nao like mahali uko nje kwa account umetulia mnakunywa drinks. Eh umsara shindwa. Ai, umsa ni mmoja. So so yeah, um you'll find that your your brand is is different. Um if you ask different people who Egivenji is Mm-hmm. Someone from work will tell you eh hey, umse anakwanga this very serious guy doesn't check out with people and someone from you know mta atakwambia eh hey, au ni boys huu ni mse eh moyo akipata kwa ofisi anaanza kusalimia niaje moyo niaje moyo anashangaa unaendea handshake <laughs> so, so what do you think what do you uh-huh. pia like it, it's it's nini Mm-hmm. different places uh, or different people hats, tend different places. to yeah yeah, yeah, ah. yeah yeah do you think it's pretentious as in uh, uh, I, i i wouldn't say so because uh-huh. if everyone's it, doing it if everyone's doing it it's not pretentious plus because uh, from my experience mm. by the at a at a mimi i have present myself outside mm. uh from uh, whatever people see in the organization yeah what one anipatanga na simanga aya yeah it's different wait a minute it's different just, uh-huh. by the way mm-hmm. Bec- and 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 binya tunasema like for example at work mm-hmm. if if you're going to work me every morning when i go to work like i make sure ni mecha na nyole yangu you know it's well kept mm-hmm. but when you find me here at home rather i'm just within the area or just going out mm-hmm. for a drink or two mm-hmm. i won't i won't you know my station and kitchen it, it will just be like that mm-hmm. yeah, just shaggy and whatever mm-hmm. so someone who has always seen me with well kept hair mm-hmm. will be like ai ukijana kwani ameingia mungeke tena ni nini like kuna na so it it will be hard for them to like reconcile <laughs> to, the two reconcile, but yeah. i'm still the same person just that mm-hmm. in a different setting this there is how i am or there are some things that yeah. you have decided yeah. uh, as far as the organization is concerned you yes. don't need to see this yes. but ukinipata huko nje yeah. well and good tutapatana na, na, na ndio maana unapatanga uh-huh. wase wengi wana wana kwanga wame block uh, wase wa job <laughs> Facebook social media ume umwa block kwa WhatsApp ndio kianda kusereleka huko like eh hey, umejiachilia na ma drinks umechafua meza hapa utaki like wasi wanini waone there's a there's a couple that was seeing and I, i think i was asking you the same thing yeah. is it post then some people are putting online do you think wameke a colleagues waone at yeah, by the way i know cuz someone is is is, is ana post kitu hapo unashindwa ai This guy is a colleague. <laughs> na boss <laughs> boss wetu bado wanaona hii status by the way, status z. But do you think as um, as far as now organizations are concerned that kuna hiyo um understanding ama ama kuna hiyo mach- let me call it maturity because mm-hmm. you have to be mature to appreciate mm-hmm. these vitus zingine. Yeah, yeah. In reference now to hizo now mtu ame post status ka comment tu yenye inakaa tu ina tarnish mm, something mm. Um, now as far as now the organization is concerned do you think uh, tumefika mahali yenye kuna hiyo maturity ya personally we are taking it as a joke personally but... no i don't think <laughs> i don't think tumefika hiyo level where uh-huh. that you can allow your boss to see your comments you and as you time. really are mm-hmm. out there away from the confines of the of the organization because mm-hmm. then of course you you're wondering oh so what an ichukuliaje how will they perceive me mm-hmm. will it tarnish my reputation at work will mm-hmm. they think i'm reckless whatever mm-hmm. things like that you see mm-hmm. and and it, it's not by their fault like we all humans that is what we do we just judge people by you know whatever whatever, uh, we, see. whatever we see so mm-hmm. um for me i think it's it's it would be a very good uh situation where mm-hmm. um As long as I'm doing my job at work. As long as at work I am presenting myself in a nice way. Not even presenting as long as I'm delivering yes, my Yes, I'm delivering my duties. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and I am adhering to the HR's uh, policy and mm-hmm. everything when it comes to dress code anything else and I'm delivering on my KPIs. Then anything else on the side it shouldn't bother you at you at because you saw me on a on a on a nini. <laughs> with kuna kawa na nimejaza ma white cap kwa meza hapo and then i was dancing sijui one leg is over the other so as in it shouldn't it shouldn't be an need to you because you see because we also have those lives because i'm sure even that person uh-huh. they also have their okay. private lives mm-hmm. that most likely we do not know about yeah. and uh, of course they wouldn't want us to know about because mm-hmm. they they are our bosses or they are our colleagues and, and either way either way we are we are all very different yes, and yeah. uh, probably my pleasures don't match yours yeah. so if you're measuring me by your stick it yeah. becomes very difficult yeah. to even operate within yeah. that yeah. i i i agree with you yeah. um 
the golden, the, not even the golden rule, as in our utopic envisionment would be that um, I am able to see you as Gidinji, yeah. who is uh, who delivers on reports. Yeah. Like, yeah. a good one. As in, yes. Probably now as a manager, yeah. Yeah, jana yeah, yeah. as in yeah. that's the yeah. And I think okay, I think out there there also let's not also say that akuna organizations. Ziko, I'm sure Ziko by yeah. the and uh, even just as we finish on that on that ah, yeah. on that on mm-hmm. that nini. And you know ngata like for example if it's on a Friday and there is a company event, mm-hmm. let's say uh, kuna drink, uh, kuna you know food and drinks being served later on there's an event. Mm-hmm. So people there, even if I drink for example. And I know my boss is uh, not a very huge fan of people who drink. Christian. Um, or rather, my boss is a church, you know, person and mm-hmm. whatever. So at that event, I will refrain from taking, from in, taking the alcohol. in the alcohol. Yes, I want to so do this. Yeah, it's juice. there. It's mm-hmm. there. In the end, I want to come here and I want to do this. But I, I won't. I won't do it because well, I'm but, thinking. Uh, yeah, 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 I want to wake up and uh, drink of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Uh-huh. So. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I I I, I wish to Neza move away from that so that mm-hmm. people can express themselves vizuri. Mm-hmm. I have actually been in an environment where it doesn't matter as long as we want to deliver reports. We will go sour. We won't care. Yes. Bora tu chape job yako as long as aka ka email ka kitumo home jibu. We do not exactly uh-huh. exactly. And I I also agree with you. It would be nice yeah. to 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 have such a setup exactly. such 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 a workplace mm. if you guys find it uh, well and good yeah. but uh, at the moment i think a part of the advice we are sharing is for me for me um, when it comes to personal branding the advice that i'd have for people mm-hmm. um, especially at work would be uh, do, do not shy off do not shy away from 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 maybe recognition from you know those things yes you can let your work speak for itself but also speak for your work as well let people know that you're there mm-hmm. you know um yeah and um if if the opportunities that come along for example there's an opportunity for someone to represent maybe the department in someone just take it up most people tend to shy away if there's an opportunity for someone to speak in a meeting do not shy away if 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 you feel that you know there's a question you can ask ask that question because then people will remember you people will you will stand out so do not do not shy away from 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 those opportunities that you get to sort of like like if I may call it market yourself or you know oh so yeah. part of personal branding yes. is also presenting yourself out there when yes. when you're given the opportunity yeah so when mm-hmm. the opportunity comes most people <clears throat> will just say ah yo ah me me I have too much on my plate take it up you know expose yourself to those relevant opportunities take them up and I'm sure with them it will actually even help you expand your network of you know not just uh, people within your your profession mm-hmm. you know you can even in expand your network beyond people mm-hmm. people beyond your profession, your profession. yeah people mm-hmm. beyond your company people beyond even your country just you know expand that network that you have of people and yeah build uh, and and work on and building and enhancing your social capital as well because mm-hmm. uh, yeah i think that is those are some of the ways that you can be able to enhance your 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 personal brand, especially when it comes to the workplace. Uh, yeah, okay. and make sure you upgrade your skills. Uh, right. Do not just be there thinking, okay, uh, no, me ni kosawa, me ni kosawa. Ati, job we kosawa. Just keep mm-hmm. learning, keep upgrading your skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, if you need to go back to school, go back. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Oh, okay. I think um, the main takeaway for me as far as now personal branding is concerned mm. is be very intentional. Yes. Be very intentional. Yes. From the get-go, I think uh, we are hustled out of a lot of in- opportunities because yeah. we are not very intentional about whatever we're doing, whatever we're looking at and yeah. all that. Yeah. So uh, I think if I can share, be very intentional about what you're doing so that uh, when those opportunities present themselves, as you're saying, you will be ready. You will be ready. Yeah. Uh, and just okay. take them up. Yes, yes. So, uh, guys, that has been it from us. If you have any any input <coughs> in addition to what we've shared, yeah, 
very interested to know what you what you think about this entire topic from us yeah. please just uh take some time to comment we appreciate the support so far from uh, everyone out there who's been commenting to me shinda uko kwa chat some of them uh, they are very engaging yeah, some of yeah. them zina tusongesha mbele remember to like uh share uh subscribe comment all that ni ile mambo tu tunashindaga tukiongelea again we are really trying to build our community we'll get there you can be part of a team that helps us get there yeah so that's been it from us till next time do this